Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living is Promised Land Thinking. There's a big difference in those who live and die in the wilderness and those who experience the Promised Land Thinking. Those who live in the wilderness march around the mountain for 40 years and never make it into the promises of God's victorious living land. It is their disbelief which keeps people in the wilderness. Those living in the wilderness live in disbelief and do not act act on God's word, while those living with promised land thinking know that nothing is impossible for God for those who believe, trust, obey, and put into action his word. Those living in the wilderness are looking at their weakness and others' weaknesses, while those living in the promised land thinking know that God living in them is greater, more powerful, and stronger than any circumstance, health issue, or problem in this world. Those living in the wilderness are looking at what they can see, while those living with promised land thinking live by faith and not by sight. For it is the unseen which created and spoke the seen into existence. The seen did not create the unseen. God is spirit. We are spirit beings created in his image and likeness. Those who live by the seen worship the creation, while those who live by faith worship the creator of the seen, which is greater, more powerful, and more real, the creation or the creator. Which one is temporal and which one is eternal? The seen temporal or the unseen eternal? Those living in the wilderness live in fear. Well, those living in promised land thinking know that God's perfect love for them casts out all fear and that God gave them a spirit of power, love, and a samai, not a spirit of fear. Those living in the promises of God receive the spirit of sonship as a child of the living God. Those living in the wilderness live in dread, expecting the worst, while those living with promised land thinking build their house on the rock so that when the challenges, circumstances, or problems of life come, they will be protected and preserved and have provision. Those living in the wilderness live in lack, while those living with promised land thinking hear the word of God, understand it, and experience a 30, 60, 100-fold return and lack nothing. God's love, mercy, and grace overflows through his righteousness, working through those who receive his gift of righteousness. There is no lack for those who are children of the King of Kings. Those living with promised land thinking experience the abundance of God working through all aspects of their life. You are a son or daughter of God. He loves you and accepts you. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen.